Wow, look at all these fun, vintage, eye-catching, eclectic treasures that I scored from the big outdoor uh, flea market in Wachir, Iowa. I had so much fun spending two days shopping with my mom. I can't wait to show you guys everything that I got. So stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time thrifter, picker, or better yet, treasure hunter. I love finding things that catch my eye and bringing them back to life. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, auctions, and yes, even curbs. So come join me on this adventure. Let's do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved. I am back with another haul video finally for you guys today. Sorry about my voice. Um, it has been a very, very, very long week. We had nationals, the sprint car races in our little tiny town um, for a whole week. Well, it was actually like two weeks, but it was really, really, really busy this last week. Like extremely busy and I am that's why I'm just now getting to the haul video but um of the flea market from like two weeks ago uh yes so I went to a concert here we had it's it's just like a big giant party and stuff and I went to a concert and I screamed and I lost my voice so okay so bear with me um but I wanted to get to this haul. I wanted to record it because I want to have a live sale. So, um, I spent, like I said, a total of $160 on everything. Like, I'm looking at all this stuff right now. It's all right beside me on a huge shelf and then beside me on the couch. Because I couldn't fit it all on the shelf. But, um, there is one thing that I got out of all this stuff that is gonna pay for everything that I got. And I will show you right now. Uh, as you've seen on the beginning of the video, the flea market video, this was one of the first things I found when I got to the flea market. This is a Viking glass owl fairy lamp. Now, I will put comps up there. Wow, right? they sell for quite a bit of money. So this will pay for, there's no chips or cracks, perfect condition. It does have a melted candle in there, unfortunately, but I can get that out, no biggie. But like I said, no chips or cracks at all. Great condition, love it. So awesome, awesome find right here. Okay, now. Let's get to the rest of the stuff. So, um, before me and my mom went to the flea market, you uh, park in people's yards, and the lady that we parked in her yard was having a garage sale. So, um, I found some things at the garage sale. I, at first I thought it was a Fenton fairy lamp, but it's, ooh, oh my gosh, I have all this stuff just packed here. And I can't scoot the shelf closer to me because I got... Here, let's just do this. Okay. So I thought this was a Fenton fairy lamp because it looked like a Fenton fairy lamp, but it's not Fenton. It's still really, really, really pretty. On the bottom, it does say made in Taiwan. It's like embossed right there. But it's still a really pretty hobnail fairy lamp no chips or cracks at all and this was only a quarter I believe I believe this was only there was a quarter garage like a garage shell sticker on it but I got that fairy lamp so that's two fairy lamps and then I also got another fairy lamp the owl viking fairy lamp I got at the flea market. These things I got at a garage sale before the flea market. 
This was the other fairy lamp that I got. Really pretty. Again, no chips or cracks. I don't know the maker on this one. It doesn't have any markings on it. But it's just like a Pago Patagoda, or I can't say it right, but you know what I'm talking about. Like the Chinese style, kind of. Okay, moving on. So then, oh, I got this there at the garage shell. And it's just, you know, like trees that go to like a train station or whatever, any model. And I thought they were cute. They're like the bottle brush trees and it's new in the package and they're different colored ones. So I thought that was pretty cool being uh, still sealed in its plastic, new, new old stock. Uh, okay, then I can't remember. <clears throat> oh, I got some cracked eggs from her. The cracked egg planters. This little one. I got that one. It's cute. It says bone china. Genuine, genuine bone china on the bottom. Another little foil sticker. And then this cracked egg planter. I thought that was cute. I really like the flowers, the colors on there. And this one does not have its foil sticker anymore. You can see where it was, but I think it's adorable. And then what else did I get from her? I don't know. I can't really remember. I don't know. So we will get to the flea market haul. But like I said, it, at the garage and the flea market, both days total, I spent $160. So this was one of the things I got. It's a beautiful, beautiful Sooner Glass dish. I like Sooner Glass. I think it's very pretty. I think it's underrated because it's so pretty. I would love to go to a, um, an art glass studio and watch it be made. I think that would be fun. There is a manufacturer's defect right there. I don't know what it is, but it is a manufacturer's defect in the glass. But it's still really, really neat. I like it. Very neat piece. Then I got some cute, cute, like, dream pets. The, you know, the Made in Japan um, stuffed plushies. But they're the hard, because they got the sawdust in them. Look at the cute duck. Is that not adorable? I love it. And this one is 1965 Kamar Made in Japan. That's the brand. So it's not a dream pet. Technically a dream pet, but cute. Same style. Made in Japan. And I got this one. And this one is... This one still has its tag. Another Huggles by Fun World. And made in Japan. Oh, I think these are cute. You know, these little Japan stuffed animals, especially with having its original tag. Cute. Adorbs. <laughs> and then I got this one. Now, this one is not... Um, this one is not a plush. It, this one is like a plastic with flocked over it. Like the velvet, you know. But look how adorable she is. And with the tail. I think it's so stinking cute. I love the eyelashes. 
her horns are a little bit twisted here. Let's I wonder if they're supposed to be that way. I don't know. I'm not going to mess with them, but she's so cute. And this one does have its original sticker on the bottom. Oh. REGD Design, made in Hong Kong. It's not going to focus very well, but... And then look at the little otters. Is that not the funniest thing? I think that's so funny. But I love it. So cute and adorbs. Then, I thought this was awesome. I know these are coming back into style. And it's just like a vintage tie rack. You see how? But you can hang necklaces, scarves. You can hang anything you want on there. Oh, There we go. You can hang anything you wanted on there. I like it. I think it's so cute with the cowboy and the horse and then the wagon. And see, you just hang it on your hang it on your wall. I loved it. And it is oh, it says Lexington, Missouri. Right up there in little. I liked it. Then, I got this awesome, cute Scotty dog tray. It's glass. Little, cute little Scotty dogs. Is that a, not adorable? It's like a vintage tray. You could hang it on your wall. It's got a thing for you to hang it if you wanted to use it as display or if you didn't want to use it as a tray. But I think it's so cute in the glass. Then I got this string art. Love, love, love vintage string art. I think it's adorable and it's an owl. This would like be cute in any little space you have on your wall for an accent piece. I think it's so cute. I love it. And it's in good condition. There's the back. Lots of fun. I got so many fun things. This is so exciting. It's going to be a, a really fun next few sales. Then I got some paper dolls. These are adorable. Now, these are babies. I'll show you the babies first. Just I'll take out... Just a few, see. Well, maybe. Oh my goodness, is that not adorable? These are stinking cute. And there's a bunch of clothes, like different clothes in here you can put on them. It's so cute. And there's still a bunch more in there. Little babies. And then what's this? I was curious about this. This is a very old piece of paper. Hold on a minute. I don't want to rip it. Because it's already starting to rip. Health examination from April 29th, 1949. That is an old piece of paper. 1949. Hmm. Strange. I was in with the paper dolls. Maybe it was the little girl's paper doll collection and she just put her thing in there. I don't know. But there's, like I said, there's a bunch more in there and a bunch more clothes. I think there's like three or four dolls and some clothes. So those are cute. Those are the baby ones.
Then I got these, these ones are the bigger ones. So stinking cute. And then look at these clothes. There's like so many. And they're so fragile. Cute. There's so many different pieces, like a little nurse's outfit thing. <laughs> Look at these. Adorable, right? Oh my goodness. See, you could put... How stinking cute. Paper dolls are so fun. I loved paper dolls when I was a little girl. I used to play with paper dolls quite often. I liked them. But yeah, there's a whole bag. You, like so many. Oh, look at the cute little pajamas on the back. This one hasn't even been cut out. So cute. So those was a really fun find. Then I got this. Love it, love it. Love the leather tooled purses. They are a lot of fun. This one's in great condition. Here's the inside. Can't really pull it because it's still kind of stiff. But yeah, it's in great condition. I love the design on there. Fabulous. Then I got this. I just thought it was stinking adorable. It's like a little um, quilted plaid. Uh, well, not really, I don't know. Quilted, vintage, Scotty Dog. How adorable. I love it, and his googly eyes. And again, in fantastic shape, really good condition. Love it. Then I got this beautiful swung glass vase. It's, I believe this is Viking, Viking glass. But you know, some of the like Ellie Smith and some of the, they all look similar, but I believe this one's the Viking glass. But I love it, I collect these as, you can see I got a whole bunch up there on that shelf. So, um, I may replace this one with um, one of the ones I have up there and then sell one of the ones I have up there. Who knows? Because I got two more as well. Now, these are not, these are not Viking glass. I believe these ones are like... Um, just like the Chinese pieces. There's the bottom. Oh, I guess, did I, show, did I show you guys the bottom of this one? You can tell by the quality. You know, you can see the difference. Once you get, start to like collecting glass, you can just tell. But these are like Chinese pieces. They're still very nice vases. Still very nice pieces. I love the design, see how they are in the bottom. But they're like the five finger. But they're still really nice. So these will be available. Probably, unless I replace them, because I like the designs on these. I don't know, we'll see. I have a ton of swung vases, so I'm going to have to go through them. So some of them will be available in my upcoming live sales. I just don't know which ones yet. Okay. Then I got this. Love it. 
Um, on the back, it gives the model number, and then it says self starting electric clock patents pending, but it's a Starburst clock. I love it. I plugged it in. It does work. Now I remember here. Oh, there, there you can kind of see it better. The blank space behind the wall. It's kind of hard to see. But I absolutely love this piece. I remember um, exactly how much I paid for this from the vendor when I bought it because I paid $7. I got this baby for $7. I love it. I just can't get over it because I absolutely love it so much. If I had a space for it, well, actually I do because this clock right here don't work no more. So I could, but this, that clock is way bigger than that clock. So I don't think that clock will, the new clock would fill the space. Ah, oh, problems, decorating problems. Okay, so we will do, I'm going to show you guys a few more things. Um, and then I'm probably going to have to split this video in two because... I have, I just finished with the stuff on the couch and I, now I'm getting to the sh big giant shelf of stuff. So quickly, I got this beautiful glass fish paperweight. I collect these. So I don't, I think this one might join my other collection my other ones in my collection. You know, it's nothing fancy. I just love it. It's probably made from made in China, but I don't care. It does that don't matter to me. I still think it's pretty. And ooh, okay, so then at where I got the fairy lamp, um I only paid two dollars for both things. I got this and the fair the fairy lamp. So I paid a dollar for the fairy lamp, the owl, the Viking glass owl fairy lamp, and then I got this. Now I don't ever, 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 <laughs> ever pick up Avon perfume bottles ever. But this was an exception because I just thought this was adorable. And with Christmas coming up, I thought it would be a very cute display piece. Um, but it is the red plaid thermos. Cute. Isn't that adorable? I just think that is so cute. And again, like it was only $1 and that ate that. It came with the, I got the Viking glass Al fairy lamp in this for $2 for both. So I just thought that was cute. But I broke my own rule. That's all right. I thought it was adorable. And it came with its original box. So that's a bonus. And then the last thing that I'm going to show you guys before I cut this video off is this cute little piggy. How adorable, right? Actually, I'll show you one more thing because I bundled this. I remember how much I paid for this, too. Um, I bundled this piggy with this. These were on a table at a guy's. Okay. These, these two things were on. He had a bunch of tables. Like, he had a $5 table, a quarter table, a dollar table, blah, blah, blah. And these were on the $5 table. So these were supposed to be $5 each, but he gave them to me for $5 for both. So I paid $2.50. Look how adorable that bobblehead is with the jeweled eyes. Is that not stinking adorable? I love it. And then the piggy relish. No chips or cracks, great condition. And I love the eyelashes. I need to clean it up a little bit. It is a little bit dirty. It, all this stuff was sitting outside, so. And then this guy, so stinking cute. Now, his head does come off. 
of his thing. It's not attached on there. It just sits on there. So he does need it adjusted sometimes. And unfortunately, he did have a little accident. And I'm, I'm pretty sure this wasn't like that unless it was loose. Um, but he does have a little bit of a chippy on his back side of his ear. I don't know if it was like that when I got it or not, but I just, I don't care. I can fix it with a colored pencil and then you won't even be able to tell. But there's this original sticker on the bottom. I think he's so sticky cute. Okay, guys, so... I am going to split this video in two. We are going to end it here and I will show you the rest of the stuff that I got tomorrow. Um, I'm so excited. I still got so many fun, fun vintage treasures to show you guys. I got tons of stuff and um, like I said, I can't wait to do my live sales. You guys will make sure you um, like, share, and subscribe hit that bell button so you're notified every time I post a new video and when I do my live sales because um, you don't want to miss them, especially these few coming up because I got so much fun things. I'm so excited. All right, guys, so I'm going to get off here and like I said, stay tuned for tomorrow's part two haul video. We will see you then. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking.